there my friends, my name is LazyJet, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Train Simulator race. We've got another Britain versus America, UK versus the USA, United Kingdom versus the United States of America, you, you get the idea now don't you? <laughs> doing today Mr Oliver sir well I'm glad I just asked myself that question because we've got a good race because I've never actually done a race with this particular engine before so we have a class a3 flying Scotsman which I have used in many other races in my previous videos and we have the New York Hudson Hudson I'm reading on I'm actually reading it on Wikipedia I've got Wikipedia on my second monitor now this locomotive was built in 1927 or 1928 or 1937 depends what kind of and like well the engine you're looking at this one i have no idea what it is but i do know and i yes i am reading this off wikipedia a total of 275 of these engines were built and the amount of these engines that are preserved today is nil none of the new york hudson survived every single one of them was scrapped and that is a big shame because like I do say in my videos that I'm not really a big fan of American steam engines, but although they are, they do look massively big and they are incredible when they, when it comes to strength. But I have to say that the New York Hudson is probably one of the coolest streamlined steam engines I've ever seen. It's such an amazing loco and it's got such amazing like detail to it, like the rivets and the bolts and the rods and just everything about this engine has got super amazing detail and it just looks awesome. So that's our race today, the New York Hudson versus the Flying Scotsman, two of the fastest steam engines back in its time. Flying Scotsman was the fastest steam engine back in her day and the New York Hudson was actually one of the fastest steam engines in America back in its days or her days or his days or I said its days I don't know why but I do give these engines genders don't I which is super weird the maximum speed for the New York Hudson was 110 miles per hour or for other people that is 177 kilometers per hour no oh, it's just got a message on my phone oh it's my twin brother I'll have to message him in a minute. But yes, 110 miles per hour. That was the top speed of these engines. And that is fast. Like, really fast. In fact, that's actually faster than Flying Scotsman. Why have I got Flying Scotsman here? What we need is, is like, Mallard versus the New York Hudson. That's, that's what we need, really. Maybe I'll have that for the next race. Mallard versus the New York Hudson. See which one is faster. That, that's a... That's an interesting idea. Get some streamlining in. Streamlining in. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking nonsense. We're going to program both these engines to do 150% power. That's right. We're going to see how fast these guys can go at 150% power. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the programming. I'm just going to leave it with this. Uh, just leave it with this. Right, Mr. Oliver, sir. You know the drill. We'll do the programming. So the New York Hudson is on... Uh, it's engine number one. It's on platform at uh, number one, like so. Uh, we're going to have you go 150% power and flying Scotsman. Your engine number two on platform three, and we're going to have you go at 150% power as well. Good programming done. Easy. Which engine is going to be the fastest, my friends? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Is it going to be the New York Hudson or is it going to be the Flying Scotsman? Leave your answer in the comment section below. I'll be sure to read it. Who do you think is going to win? Leave your answer now, my friends. Pause the video. Leave the answer down. And let's see who's going to win this race. Yes. And as always, I'm going to be driving the... Where is it? Oh, there it, is. <laughs> there it is. The Superglass 47. Which one's going to win, my friends? I have no idea. But let's get to the racing. Race time. Here we go. And away they go. i got to drive the Superclass 47 as always. And the New York Hudson is pulling away way more faster than Flying Scotsman. Release the brakes and let's get moving. Could Flying Scotsman catch up and beat the New York Hudson? We don't know. And you have to remember, this is the first time I'm actually using a New York Hudson in this race. I've never raced this thing before. This is the first time that this engine's made an appearance in one of my races. So this is new. Okay, already we're doing 82 miles per hour, and I think the Hudson's still speeding up. Oh dear, let's see if we're trying to get up. Oh god, it's going faster than I am. It's going over 100 miles per hour. I'm doing 109 miles per hour, but I think the New York Hudson is still going faster. Where is the Flying Scotsman? Flying Scotsman's left for dust! Look at that! 
Florence Costa's way behind. She's left for dust. And the New York Hudson is speeding away way, way more faster than I can speak. We're doing uh, 150 miles per hour. Uh, don't know how fast the Hudson's going, but oh my goodness, it's going really fast. I'm not sure if it's faster than the Challenger, though. I don't know. I can't remember how fast the Challenger went, but bear in mind that went up to 175% power. This is only 150% power, but it's still going pretty fast. We're doing 161 miles per hour. I have no idea the speed of the Flying Scotsman. Let's see where Flying Scotsman is. Uh, <laughs> okay, Flying Scotsman is way, way behind. Hello, Flying Scotsman. Oh, and I'm, I'm out of camera range. No, Flying Scotsman. Oh, but Flying Scotsman is catching up. She is catching up. She's not falling too, too badly behind, but she is catching up. Or maybe it's because we've already entered. We've already entered the loop trip. Oh, God. I can't speak. I can't catch up either. I'm going too slow. New York Hudson, wait for me. Look at the speed of the New York Hudson. That's insane. It has got an amazing good livery as well. I like the, 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 the livery on this engine. The speed of that thing. I can't catch up. I can't catch up. Let's, let's, let's leave it at 148 miles per hour. Um, I don't know where Flying Scotsman is. I've got to, like keep in sync with this engine, the New York Hudson. Let's see we're trying to get in, like, get in perfect speed. We're doing about... I'd say we're doing about 160 miles per hour. Where is Flying Scotsman? Is she catching up? I, I don't know. Where is Flying Scotsman? Um, oh, there's Flying Scotsman. Um, and I think I am... Yeah, I'm out of camera range. I can't reach Flying Scotsman. She's way far behind. Why am I using Flying Scotsman? I should like, be using like something streamlined, like, like Mallard or, or um, uh, Duchess of Hamilton. That's a good one. Even though it's not very good at racing, the program, it always, like, goes at, like, one mile per hour. Okay, I'm going to pull the brakes just a little bit. So let the New York Hudson... Hudson. I can't say the name properly. Hudson. New York Central Hudson. Such a weird name, but, you know, I guess I got... A, I mean, the Americans could think that the Flying Scotsman's a weird name, but, um... Oh, hold on. It stopped accelerating. It's just rolling down the tracks now. So, look, let's... Let's, let's try and get, like, a really epic, like... Cinema cinematic, I can't say it, cinematic shot. Wait, wait, wait how do you have a pen out? So look at that. It's making a weird noise as well. It's like a little ringing. Oh, God, I can't. I'm going way too fast. Where is it? There you are. It is slowing down. Maybe this is the chance the Flying Scotsman can catch up. Where is Flying Scot? Oh, she's like, she's nowhere to be seen. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, my God. She's way behind. Look at, look at that. Poor Flying Scotsman. Oh, and the scenery just loaded in, and there's the New York Hudson blocking the way. Oh, God, thanks, Hudson. Let's see if we can try and get like, a shot of Scotsman and the Hudson going past. So here's flying Scotsman, and there's the Hudson, the New York Hudson, New York Central Hudson. I can't say its name properly, but if she is slowing down. This is the most, um, my race is, like, are getting a bit weird now, aren't they? Because normally, like, it's a close finish, but now it's, like, really starting to separate. I think, like... Last time I did a race, it was Mallard versus the Challenger, and the Challenger won. I think the American engines are actually maybe faster than the British steam engines. Do you know what? I'm actually going to say it. I think the American steam engines are way more superior than the British steam engines. I mean, they have the speed. They have the strength. That's 2-0 to, to America. Um, America 2, Britain 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently apply the brakes. Oh, and I think I hear the Hudson, the New York Central Hudson uh, accelerating a little bit. Where, where's the finish line? There's the finish line. We're, not, we're nearly there, I suppose. But I am going to say it. The New York Hudson is, well, sorry, the New York Central. I keep getting his name wrong. The New York Central Hudson. I'm going to say it. It's one of the best looking American steam engines out there, in my opinion. Okay, the Superclass 47 is now at a complete stop. And now... The New York Hudson is in first place. God, that looks so cool. That's such a good-looking steam engine. I don't, I don't mind what you guys say. I mean, you guys may have your own opinions, but it is actually a really good-looking steam engine. It's very streamlined. It looks amazing. Now, I have to say this before I forget. In the show Thomas and Friends, Connor is actually based off a of New York Central Hudson. So... Just before I forget, I might as well just, like, leave it out there so you guys know. Because people are going to be saying in the comments, That's Connor! Ladies and gentlemen, that's Connor. I know it's Connor. Oh, and hello, Flying Scotsman. We've been waiting here for about... Check my watch. About ten minutes. No, not really. I made that up. I'm just trying to be funny. But yes, Flying Scotsman is in last place. And she lost this race quite badly. But I think we might need to try at this race again. And maybe we need, like, Mallard or something. Something streamlined to, to try and beat... 
the New York Hudson. But because the Hudson and the Challenger was quite fast, I think we might need to do a race with the New York Hudson and the Challenger to see which one will win. Maybe that, that will be an interesting experiment. Yes, both American steam engines are the fastest, but which one is the fastest out of the two? That's what I'm thinking. If you guys want me to do that, leave your answer in the comment section below if you want me to do the uh, Union Pacific Challenger versus the New York Hudson. Now that would be an interesting race. I mean, I would watch that. But which engine would you guys prefer? Would you prefer the New York Hudson or the Flying Scotsman? Leave your answer in the comment section below and I'll be sure to read it. And that concludes our video for today, my friends. Hope you guys did enjoy watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description. If you want to make a little donation to uh, my PayPal, link to that is in the description below as well. Thank you again so much for watching, my friends. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. <laughs>